Click on G, hold it down. Click on H, hold it down. Click on G, hold it down. And bada bing, bada bang, we got a circle. So I've done this tutorial for six years. One, two, three, four. Oh, fifth, fifth year. It's awesome. Okay, so for uh, this part right here, click on A, hold it down, drag it up to this part. Um, now, this one I think is the hardest part of this whole tutorial. So you gotta like turn your brain back on if it's off. Okay, I'll start again. Click on A, hold it down, and drag it up. Click on B, hold it down, and drag it down. Now, here's the the different part. We want to make this cool curve, right? But how are we going to do this? Like if we click on C, notice we can't make that shape to go where we want it to. You see that? So we have a dilemma, like Nelly, but we're going to fix it. So what we're going to do is you're going to hit on the pen tool. Okay, you should keep the pen tool. You're going to hold down, what was it? Oh, hold down option. Okay, now if you notice your pen, if you hover it over the B point, you'll notice it's like a slash sign. If you hold on the option key, it, it changes it into like a little uh, um, Asiana symbol, like a little tick. So that's what you need. What that is a symbol for is it's going to make an endpoint. So if we click that, notice that that guide disappeared. And now, if we do the pen tool, notice we can go anywhere. Like it's an endpoint. It gives us more options. Okay. So now we can like drag it up. So see, now we can hit that endpoint, drag it up like this, click on the C, and then drag it down. And now we can get our um, spots the way we want it to. So stroke the sub path. That's good. You know, like, and there we go. So keep doing that to these. So D, E, um, Okay, so hit D, hit E, and then let go, and then hold down, click on E and hold it down and drag it up. Click on F and drag it down. Okay, I notice I can't do G, it's gonna be a curve point. Remember, we don't want a curve point, we want a straight point, so we're gonna remove that guide. Option click on F, and now we can go straight. Make sure you're holding shift when you do those straight lines. And then we're gonna stroke that path. Okay, A, P, H, I, hold on shift, hit I, then click on I, hold it down, click on J, hold it down, uh, option, click on J, go across the K, make sure you hold on the shift key, and stroke that path. Done. We're moving and cruising. So that's how you use the pen tool and get to the way you want it to, okay? Um, so again, the beauty of this is that you can change and edit paths. So here's all your paths. Again, your layer, everything is in that one layer, but within that one layer you have all these paths, okay? If you want to load, um, if there's certain things that you can do with it, you could fill the path with foreground color, you could stroke it with a brush. These are also tools you can use instead of control click and fill path. So there we go. Now with the files that you downloaded, there was also a file um, with a spaceship in it. Okay. Um, so we're going to actually go and grab that file. Let's see. So we're going to go to the spaceship, drag it in, Photoshop, 
and you get this cool looking guy. Okay, and notice he has a bunch of guides there for you. Okay, uh, those guides are there to help you. So, P for pen, you're going to click on A, go across, go to B, drag it down. Now, notice C, you don't want that curve. You, it should be a straight point. So, option click on B to take off that point. Hold on shift key to C, or just click on C, click on D. Drag it up, E, drag it here, F, G. Now, when you go to H, don't take shortcuts and cheat by like doing these little click, 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 click things. Okay? When you do small little clicks like that, it's going to look jaggedy. The, you want to do as least amount of clicks as possible whenever you use a pen tool. So I'm going to click on H and then drag it and bend it. Okay, and then click on I and drag it. And then click on J and bend it. K, drag it up. L, M, N. And the option click and then finish it. Okay, so we just made our spaceship, and it should say like work path. So you're going to control click on work path, and you're going to stroke this path, and use a, like a neon alien green. Control click, stroke path, okay. Now you notice he has like a weird glowing uh, green effect around him. All right. Okay. Now we don't need those guides anymore, the ABC stuff. So go to your layers. You see template. Click on the I to hide that. We don't need that anymore. Okay, and then go to your paths. Now if you deselect the path, notice that it's gone. And it, let's say we want to edit the point, but you can't because it's gone. Okay. Here's freezing up. Okay, so what you're going to do is take your globe, put your globe in like this, so the alien is coming down to this planet, and he's going to rave havoc. But, to save the day, to do, to do, who's going to be coming? Who's going to come and save the day? Super DL. We'll use, <laughs> we'll use J Choi. Because it looks like he's going to actually save the day, right? All right, so take your uh, picture. And drag it to Photoshop. There we go. Click and drag it. <laughs> it's going to save the day. That's fun. So Command T. We're going to transform it. There. 